Holy smokes. We have a sickness. We have a sickness of buying bikes. For the love of God. Thankfully, it's already 2023. And I put a cap at buying bikes in 2022. But this time 2023 being um, here now, I allowed myself to buy another bike. This one is a definite Frankenstein. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It's just that um, it's like on such an old bike frame, really, really old. It's on like a specialized bike frame, really old. But this is what we bought today. Let me uh, take a time to like pull over here, but um, I bought it for the components. Let me show you which components we have here in a minute while I park. All right. Oh gosh, it's not even my size. This bike is like for large people, tall people. All right, let's look at what we got here because I don't even really know. It's a specialized hard rock FS um, old mountain bike, really old, 26er only has front suspensions um, but I bought this bike because it's running a Grin technology base runner controller Grin electronic components it's an L10 that's why I bought it um, I forgot the name of that motor but it's supposed to be around a thousand watt um, specs wise 52 volt 13 amp high long battery it already has connected tail lights, so that's cool. It also has this mini front light from Grin as well. This is really weak though. I feel like it's only like 1,000 lumens, if that. Um, but it has a cycle analyst on board. It's got all the connections I need to kind of... Um, I th I'm thinking of popping this electrical components in the Super 73 RX that I have. It's got all the dials here, the thumb throttle. It already has the same connector, L10-9, so it should be a plug-and-play experience. It's got the PAS going on there, so that's cool. I'm probably going to throw this bike frame away, because I'm not. And there's no way I'm going to be using it. Currently, I'm going to see what I could do about this, this rim, the rear rim. I'm going to see maybe if I can kind of put this drop out, if hopefully it's the same to my um, one of my mountain bikes. But... The battery, the controller, the display, I think I'm going to try to pop in in a Super 73, either my S2 or RX, so stay tuned for that. And the best part is I got all of this, actually, I got all of this plus a phase runner controller, which is, I left that at home, all of this under $500 on offer up. So, um... That's the only reason why I bought it. I had to drive an hour away to, to Irvine to get it, but I have a sickness for bikes. I have a sickness for deals. You know, I watched it on offer up for like a whole, a whole month. He was trying to sell it for 550 and no one was biting. I told him, hey, if you're gonna, if you're willing to lower the price, I'm willing to purchase it for lower. Um, again, this is just a base runner and the battery is kind of like a pretty weak battery. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a, f it's a fun commuter bike on pavement. Still getting the hang of it. The PAS, my legs doesn't even really re reach. It's really for long leggers here. But let's keep maxing it here. All right, 24, 25. 
35 miles per hour. I think that's the uh, current settings. I feel like the motor is cutting off there. Um, he doesn't have this obviously for set up for fast bike currently. But um, yeah, we're gonna change all that. I've always been a fan of uh, Grin, what they what they do, a Canadian company. But yeah, the way they um, describe things is really like nerdy. They don't really describe all their videos is not really like in layman's term. They they feel like they're talking to their staff or something like that. But. There's a lot of fine-tuning involved as well, so it's almost, you know, if you're a beginner, I don't really recommend it. But just the fact that hopefully it's plug-and-play and there's an auto-tune feature. My goal with my Super 73 popping the phase runner in, and I'll try to use a 52 battery for now, my goal is to hit at least 40 miles per hour, even though if it gets there slowly. So if everything works out just fine, I'm gonna get like a, maybe a 72 volt battery and hopefully reach around 50 miles per hour. It's always fun testing out new bikes, you know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this uh, frame, to be honest. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll ask if one of my buddies would want it. And uh, the base runner here, I feel like it's a, uh, I think it was, it goes up to 50 amp on discharge. And then the phase runner goes up to 80 amp on the discharge, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like uh, there's some kind of uh, parts where I feel like this bike is cutting off. But yeah, we're running a V-brake here. We're not really used to V-brake bikes. I feel like it's, you know, it's uh, really dated. Or it's probably my first bike ever when I was a kid used V-brakes. All right, we're gonna get a last look of this bike and we'll call it a day. I bought it obviously for the parts. I'm not gonna use this frame here. Pretty old for my taste, but that's gonna be it. This is the new one in the collection. This is the first and the last time you're gonna see this bike because I'm gonna take it apart. That's become my hobby these days. Taking it apart, building newer, better bikes. Hopefully um, upgrading some of one of my Super 73s, hopefully. Stay tuned, see how that goes. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more content. This is E-Bike Adventures signing out. See you guys in the next ride. Peace.